Hi, this is Bob Mead, CEO and founder of IQ Agent, here with our second update for the IQ Agent app for HoloLens. So let's get started. So here we are on my HoloLens, and I just want to show you the latest update on IQ Agent. So I'm just going to look at the IQ Agent icon and tap it, and just put the 2D launcher up on the wall. Now, this is our splash screen on the video. The background looks like there's a, a black opaque background, but it doesn't look like that on HoloLens. It looks pretty cool. So let's see what the new POIs look like. I can just say new item. Here's our menu. So we've uh, tightened this up a little bit. It looks better. Put some bigger icons up there. I can either tap or I can use uh, select. So I'll just go here and I selected the POI. And then I'll just go to environment, select that, this time using a tap. And then I'll just do plant environment. And so here's the POI. Instead of a sphere, we have this kind of rotating cube with our icon on it. And I'll just tap that to open up the POI. And there it is. So this is live data coming out of your PLC, SCADA databases. And if I hit adjust, then I can just grab this and just kind of put it back where I want. And just click done. And then uh, notice that we've moved our close and info buttons. Um, I'm going to tap info. And this is our info view. So the POIs are looking a lot more like the other clients we have for IQ Agent, like on iOS or regular Windows 10. And I can just open one of these. So here's my safety checklist. I'm just going to say select. And we're going to go out in the 2D world. Uh, this is kind of an interim solution, but we have used the... Um, the free viewers that Microsoft has. So this is an Excel preview. I'm just going to put it on the wall right above it and it's going to open up that document. Ultimately I'd like to view documents directly through like say a Unity object interact with them but nothing that I've found exists uh, for UWP so Right now we're just kind of using what Microsoft has and we're switching back and forth between the 3D and 2D world. So when I'm done with a document, of course, I can interact with it. Uh, I just go to return to IQ agent space and we're back at the POI. So you can open Word documents, PDF, things like that. And of course, if you have maintenance forms, uh, we could just create a URL to those. So I'll flip back to data. And then uh, when I close this, then I can also close the menu. Uh, the name of the POI just kind of uh, hovers around that, so um, that's kind of a, a neat feature. looks a lot better than it did last time. As far as putting individual data points and info links, uh, we've created the menus for that. So let's take a look. New item. So my selection dialog comes back, and this time I'm just going to do data, so I'll just tap data. And then uh, let's go to maintenance incoming bank motor and these are all the data points I have on the data view for incoming bank motor so I'm just going to do housing temp and so there's my live data housing temp and I'll just do adjust and then I can just push this back put it where I want it and then just click done and then I can get rid of the menu if I want to make this smaller I say make smaller so I can adjust it using voice commands as well if I want an info link it's pretty much the same new item select and then I'll go to environment plant environment and let's just pull up say maintenance operations and move it back hit done and then uh, I'll close the menu and of course I can just tap on this and it's going to open up my documents so I'll just gaze over here in an empty space and it's going to give me my PowerPoint viewer and then it's going to allow me to view and interact with that document. Okay, so that's it for update two for IQ Agent for HoloLens. Uh, just a reminder, it's the same IQ Agent server and configuration tool, so if you already own the product, it'll work with that. We can show live data from OPC or ODBC, as well as documents, forms, video links, whatever you want. The next step, we're going to implement QR scanning where we can scan the current POI QR codes and pull up the relevant POIs. We're also going to implement the internal demo mode so you can show it without a server. We're really hoping to get this on the HoloLens store in April. If you'd like it before then, just give me a call or an email. My email address is there on the screen. And we are planning on uh, doing a special pricing for HoloLens users, so stay tuned for that. So until next time, see you later.